Hello, and welcome back to the Let's Play World. Okay, let's go over here. I don't know what was with that voice. I just felt like being weird. Okay, well, let's see. So we've got a bed, so that's good. We'll have plenty of sleepy time if we need it. I, I just said <laughs> we'll have plenty of, and I didn't know where to finish the, how to finish that sentence. So. Um, so we don't need to worry about nighttime much anymore, which is fortunate for me. Although I'm sure you guys would have loved to see me running around trying to kill things, looking for sheep at night. But anyway, um, I'm just going to grab this coal real quick, because we do kind of need a lot of it. Especially at the start, you always need more coal to make torches and smelt things that you find and cook food and all that stuff. I mean, fortunately, the village that we found actually has a lot of wheat on it. Um, I was pretty lucky to get that, like right off the bat, right next to my spawn. Uh, I, don't, I just noticed as I ended the episode, the last episode that um, I took my bed. I broke my bed and got up um, when I woke up. I broke my bed, and that means that I now have no spawn point. So I don't really know what my reasoning was behind that, but it wasn't well planned out. Um, I mean, my spawn point is, again, really close, but still. Let's see, anything down here? Got some iron. Uh, where does this go? It goes nowhere. Fantastic. There's water nearby. Stick down some torches. Make some more torches there. Okay. Or was that iron? Anyways. Some more dirt. No, no more iron. Just the one. That's mean. Let's go this way. Or not. <laughs> Let's turn around. Oh, what's up here? Don't want stuff dropping on us from up above. Ah, oh, crap, what time is it? <laughs> I looked before I started the episode, and then I forgot. And we're just, Oh. Alright. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, but okay. Well, I you know exactly how I missed that. I'm ignorant. But what exactly is your point? Thank you very much. Put that down there. Get some more iron. Please be more iron. Please, please be more iron. No, no more iron. Fine, be that way. We have three iron. We can make a bucket. Ooh, there's more. All right, so this is good. We've got a bunch of cave systems near our house, which is well, I suppose it's good and bad, um, because. That means that we're going to have a bunch of cave systems, so we can probably find a bunch of iron right off the bat. But the one problem with that is we will have to light up a bunch of caves later if we ever want to make like a mob system or something. That's all gravel, and that's going to fall when I break this iron. Alrighty, there we go. Just put that over there. A little bit of a cave behind us. Oh, that's where we came from. Sweet! Oh, and it goes down. Okay. Oh, and that goes up. And more gravel. No, just stop it. Just stop it, okay? Just stop it. Stop being so mean, okay? Don't appreciate it. Ugh. Okay, that didn't go so well. Um... There we go. And that can stay now. Um, ooh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of water pouring in. And there was light over there. Oh, almost missed a piece of iron. Let's go up first. Try to uh, light up anything that's up above us so we don't end up falling into a, a trap. Here's something walking around, but I think it's up above. So it's probably just like a chicken or something. You saw nothing, okay? Nothing. <laughs> um, I was doing my my redstone video, so I put it on peaceful so the mobs wouldn't spawn. I always do that too. I hate it. I really wish that you could you should be able to set the difficulty based on the world. So instead of being able to swap whenever you want, you can just 
make a world like a hard world and there you go cause like oh geez of course there's things spawning everywhere now um I shouldn't be so surprised even though I am oh water icky water and be gone I can use a bucket that opens up right there it's up here Bunch of mushrooms. Fantastic. Uh, particularly because they're red mushrooms. I know I saw brown mushrooms in the um, in the swamp. So we'll be able to make mushroom stew if we need to. Which is fantastic because, you know, mushroom stew is awesome. Except there is that thing. There's something wrong with growing mushrooms. I don't really remember what it was, but, like, you can't put... Oh, okay, apparently you can down here. Maybe it's... In the sunlight? Yeah, you can't put mushrooms down in the sunlight, which, I mean, makes sense, because they're not supposed to be planted in light, but I don't think you could do it at night, either. Where'd I come out? How much iron do I have? 29. That's a nice amount. Oh, we're all the way over here. Let's, uh... Head down here. There we are. There we go. Light that up a little bit. Um, oh, gotta get that iron. Can't just leave that iron hanging there. We're, we're doing pretty good on the iron so far. Um, we've got, like, 32, yep. And lots of cave to explore. And lava somewhere. Nope, that doesn't take care of anything. There we go. I wonder where that lava is. It's close. That water's annoying. Hello, Enderman. Enderman man. Endermanny pants. Okay, no, I didn't look at you. We good? We good? We're good. Okay. Um I'm confused. <laughs> where am I? Ooh, lots of iron. Alright, I was... Oh! Oh, good, I made another one. I was thinking it was just going to be the four. But it looks like it's more! That was strange. I shouldn't have done that. Yay, more iron! And zombies and skeletons. That doesn't sound so good. I don't know where they are! I, <laughs> I haven't run into any of them! That's one plops down from up there. Oh, well, they're close. That's for sure. Down there, maybe? Yeah, probably down there. Looks like it curves around. Okay, got a bunch of iron. Light this up a bit. Nope. Ah! Oh, God. That's a slime! Slimey slime! Where are you, buddy? Buddy, buddy, where are you? Nope, nope. Stay where you are, slime buddy. Just let me come and get you. I just need to find you. Don't move. It's a creeper. That's suspicious. It's more creepers, more skeletons, more everything. Okay, they'll kill each other. Wow, that's just a lot of mobs. Wow, that creeper actually died from fall damage. From the little, like, three block drop. Are they still shooting at me, or are they shooting at each other still? If they're still shooting at each other, then it's taken them a ridiculously long time. Slime? Why don't I hear him anymore? I don't like that. Hope he didn't just, like, jump in lava or something. That would be pretty unfortunate. Okay, that'll just smelt. And let's come up here. Anything interesting? What's up? Why is that lit? Looks like there's lava down there. Hello, buddy. There's some iron. No! 
Oh, more lava. Get some more iron. Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of lava. We're pretty far down. I'm surprised to be seeing um, lava and gold and redstone and everything. I thought we were pretty close to the surface, but apparently not. Oh. I don't really like that, but oh well. It doesn't really hurt us, I guess. Which way is back? I need my stuff. Ah, why? Where? How? What? Why aren't you attacking me? <laughs> that was confusing. Where did he come from? Is there a hole in the ceiling? No. Alright. I don't know where he came from. Acquiring hardware. Make ourselves an iron pick. Grab this gold. It's not entirely necessary, but... You know, you never know when you're going to want some gold. Maybe once we get ourselves in it... No! some lapis. A torch down. Thank you, creeper. That was very kind of you <laughs> to expose some lapis for me. And it's a lot of lapis, too. Wow. Yay! I want my slime, though. Where'd my slime go? Stupid, stupid. Of course, he blew up my workbench. So I have to make another workbench. And make a bucket. Check the time. Yeah, it's been about 11 minutes, I think. So, next time we'll we'll look around and see if we can't find that slime. Or maybe even go to the surface because I'm running out of torches. Since I have no more wood. Alright. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!